Fitness with Meg. Today we have a step out workout. So if you are ready, go ahead and grab a step. If you don't have one, you can still do these moves without it. And let's go ahead and begin. Okay, so our first move is going to be holding plank with our hands on the step. And we're gonna be doing this move for two minutes. So let's go ahead and begin. We're placing our hands right up here on the step and we are holding plank on our hands instead of our forearm. This gives us a greater incline. But if you really don't want to be on your hands, you can always bring it on your forearms like so. So it's really up to you here. We're just gonna hold this for two minutes. This is really going to tone and target our core here. So be sure to squeeze your abs the entire time that we are holding plank here. So like I said, this is a great move that really targets your entire core. It helps tone your upper abs, your lower abs, your, and those middle abs. I love isometric holds like this. It may not seem like much at first, but after a while you really begin to feel it. And so if this is a little hard on your wrist, you can always come up onto fists here. Or once again, you can bring it back down into that forearm position. So by now you should be able to feel this here. I can definitely feel this in my shoulders here, as well as my abs. And just keep holding. Y'all are doing such a great job. And how do you like my socks? I don't know if you can see them, but they're super cute. They have these cute little leaves on them, which is perfect for fall. those wrists a little bit of a shake here because now we are going to transition into holding plank on our hands with our hands down here and our feet up on the step okay so let's go ahead and bring our hands down here and we are going to bring our feet up on top of the step here and we are going to be holding plank here for two minutes so our hands are resting here down at the edge of our mat and our toes here are right on top of the step here. So if this is really hard on your wrists here, you can always come up on two fists here, like I am right now. But a good idea is to stretch those wrists. So ideally you would have done it before this video, but you can also pause it anytime if your wrists are really bothering you to stretch them out. As well as be sure to do this after this workout is complete. So we're just holding here. Be sure to breathe the entire time. I know a lot of people, when they're holding plank or doing any type of isometric workout, they like to hold their breath. But just be sure that you breathe the entire time. We don't want anyone passing out or getting sick during this workout. one minute to go y'all can do this i know y'all got this y'all are stronger than you know and after we finish this move we are already halfway done with this entire workout so you should be really proud of yourself because i'm proud of y'all y'all are doing such a great job working out with me i'm proud of all of my subscribers and i'm so grateful for all of y'all for subscribing to my channel always pause but make sure that you come back to this workout and three 
two, and one. Okay, so for our third move, we are going to be doing slow mountain climbers with our hands on the step for one minute. So let's go ahead and begin by placing our hands on the step here. And we are just going to slowly bring in our knee here. We are alternating which knee that we are bringing in here. Be sure to try and keep that butt nice and low. You don't want it to be all the way up in the air. We are not in down dog here. I'm just trying to hold an inclined plank while doing these slow mountain climbers. Also, while we are holding this plank position and we are bringing our knees in, you want to be sure to squeeze that core here so we can tone and strengthen our abs here. So yes, just alternating which knee we are bringing in. So the left knee and then the right knee. Y'all are doing such a great job and I'm super proud of all of y'all. Keep it up. After this, we just have one more minute to go. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, bring that down. Okay, so for our last and final move, we are going to be doing slow mountain climbers with our hands down over here on the mat and our feet are going to be on the step here. So let's go ahead and come on into our plank type of position and let's begin. So this inclined plank with our mount, slow mountain climbers here, just like the other move, but our hands and feet are in different positions. So we are in a different incline here. Once again, be sure to breathe the entire time that you are doing this workout and just alternating which knee we are bringing in. This is opposed to the fast mountain climbers, which are a cardio type of move. This move is really focusing on strengthening up our core. And if you're sliding around while you're doing that move, that's totally fine. You can always just pause and readjust yourself. And keep up the great work. We're almost done. Y'all got this. One. Congrats on finishing this workout. I'm super proud of y'all. Y'all deserve a big round of applause after finishing that. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up down below. Leave me a comment letting me know if you liked it or if you could feel the burn while you were working out. And of course, be sure to subscribe if you are not already. And thank you for being a subscriber if you are subscribed. And I look forward to seeing you the next time that I post a new video, so stay tuned. Bye.